Where's everybody? What day is it? Where am I? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Well, I remember English. Speaking English. Oh, well, I think this is English. Yeah. Yeah, this is English. Yeah, but I don't remember how I got here. I don't remember what I'm doing here. I don't even remember my own name. I remember to wear pants. At least I got that going for me. So I'm an English-speaking, pants-wearing guy with no clue whatsoever. Not good. Let's give it one more shot. Let's give it everything we got. Cause if we get it right, we will surely conquer the world. So I'm probably young. Is that me? There's some boyish handsomeness in there. Could be worse. I'm in Bennett High School. I wonder if I'm in any of those pictures. Oh, not on the football team. Maybe the baseball team? Nope, strike two. you folded there, Carl Montclair. Thank you. I pride myself on my realism. As you can see, the duck bill and web feet are especially detailed. Well, I can see why they voted you the Origami Club president. Or my name is Carl Montclair, and I'm president of the Origami Club. This is all his fault. You told me to do something. He lost him. Okay, I didn't lose him. I just don't know where he is. Lost implies that I can't find him. So find him. I can't. So you lost him. I lost him. I lost him. I lost him. And guess what? I lost him. Just get the angel textbook. Fine. Hello? What was that? Okay. Apparently nothing. All right, let's see here. Lost aardvarks, lost apples. There's nothing in here on lost assignments. Give me that. You were supposed to look under forgetting magic. Here it is. Sorry. You used forgetting magic to make Carl forget. Did you specify what he was supposed to forget? Um, no. Porter made Carl forget almost everything to the point that he couldn't even remember himself. Now Carl's trapped in a world that's only made up of the few things that he can remember. <sighs> whoops. Is that all you have to say? Double whoops. Better. <laughs> Maybe I'm on the basketball team, as well as the origami club. Says the star player can't have a penchant for folding things. Hm, I'm worth remembering. Ah! Montclair, pay attention. You asked for my help? I didn't ask you for anything. What are you doing over here, then? You called me over. Yeah, same difference. Not everybody can be an all-star athlete. Yeah, I know. Hey, you still got an all-star locker number, though. I do? Yeah, it's Jim Brown's number, Dr. J's number, Magic Johnson, Sandy Koufax, and Serge Delvecchio. OK, so I'm not the jock. Serge Delvecchio is. Oh, and I know my locker number, 32. Maybe it's got some clues about whatever's happening to me right now. I think she needs to know. I think we should wait. He would say that. <sighs> Guys, what are you doing? You know I still have a lot to get ready. Yeah, I just got beamed into a classroom by two angels. Why am I not surprised? Is it because I'm an angel too? Nope. It's because I'm a human girl who just happened to use my investigative reporting skills to find out that Porter and Denise are angels in training. And now that I know, 
They let me in on some of the shenanigans. <laughs> Porter lost Carl. You were just supposed to make him forget that one thing, Porter. Yeah, that's what he was supposed to do. Hold on. I have an idea on how to get him back. I'm listening. Okay, if I perform the same magic on another human... Let me guess. I'm that human? Yeah, except... Except what? I'd have to recreate the conditions exactly. Meaning, I'd have to turn you into Carl. Don't worry. I'll put boomerang magic on you. You'll come back in 30 seconds. Let's do it. Okay. Wow, this is so cool. Now for some boomerang magic. Ooh, magic tickles. This note will tell you what to do when you get to wherever you get to. Where am I? Who am I? Your name is Jane Casey. You're looking for Carl Montclair. Write down where you are right now. Bennett High School. Now show Carl Montclair. Carl Montclair? Carl? Carl Montclair? Is someone else here? I'm Carl, man! I'm coming! Carl? Is that you? Hey, hey, hey. Hello? Oh, I could have swore I heard a voice. Oh, it sounded so familiar. Did you find him? I don't know. I don't remember. Can you change your back now, please? Oh, right. You wrote that you were in Bennett High. Yes, that's where Carl is. That's something. But we're in Bennett High, and Carl's not here. It must be a different Bennett High. Porter, get the textbook. There's nothing in the book. Get, get the, the book. book. I know my memory's not the best, but I'm pretty sure flying books are not normal. So let's recap. I'm alone, I hear voices, and I see flying books. <sighs> Cuckoo. This is not gonna end well. Wow, that book moves so fast. Yeah, and I can beep it in with either hand. Jane, the angel textbook belongs to every angel in training, and every AIT has access to it at all times. It's like having an angel magic encyclopedia at your fingertips. Cool! I would say they're walking with a bow. Got braids in my hair, they go down to there, and I'm breathing, breathing, breathing all the air in the air. It's like a giant musical card. Now the sound of my beautiful voice comforts not only me, but every passing student. It's my gift to the school. And now, I'm going to treat everyone to a duet. So totally non stopping Today, today, everybody's gonna get down today. And if you can't make it, you sure will be sorry. Cause this party ain't happening tomorrow. I remember Britney. This is great. And I remember Britney singing, which is less great. <sighs> Brittany, this is my gift to the world. Double knotted. Thirty-two. One. Oh, but I don't know my combination. Okay, what would I do if I had a locker? Well, I'd take the combination to the top of it in case I ever forgot. Wait a minute. This is my locker. Maybe I did do that. Oh, bingo! <laughs> I'm really starting to remember this remembering thing. See? This is why I'm not worried. I put a time limit on the forgetting magic on Carl. It'll be done by five. But what if we don't get him back before then? Let me look. Uh, if Carl doesn't remember everything by five o'clock, he'll be stuck in his reality forever? This happens every time I go out of town. I say, don't do anything wacky. And what do they do? Something wacky. Okay. This must be my lunch bag. Or a small brown paper briefcase. Oh, who makes a maple syrup and sardine sandwich? Here are your sandwiches. I have a ham and cheese on whole wheat and a sardine and maple syrup on rye. What kind of sandwich is that? Sorry, honey, I ran out of cold cuts. Try to think of it as a back of the fridge sandwich. 
Okay. So I have a sister named Becky and a mom who's not exactly a culinary whiz. Well, I've got a family, I've got a home. Whatever that might be. Let me take a look at the angel textbook. I don't know, Jane. Humans and the angel textbook and I, I know my way around an index and a glossary better than anyone else. Yeah, I'm sure you do, Jane, but the problem is... Porter, give me the book! Knock yourself out! You did warn her. I could have tried harder. Only AITs and full angels can read the angel textbook. If a human tried, well, she'd catch my trip. Hello? What is that smell? Yeah, it's coming from this locker. It's not even locked. Oh. Ugh, and I thought maple syrup and sardine sandwiches smelled weird. What the? It's a sculpture of my head. Sculpture, Carl. Hey, yeah, I can see how you could easily confuse it with a margarine sculpture, but it's all butter. Why would you make that, man? Uh, uh, because uh, butter is a natural but malleable sculpting medium. No, I mean, why would you make that of me? Uh, it was just a bar of butter, and it melted that way, uh, with no help from a spatula, all by itself. Uh, I gotta go. Uh, 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 there's nothing suspicious about butter. I remember. Alex Rodriguez has been my friend since we were little. And he's a darn good sculptor. What's he hiding? Man, that angel textbook is bright. Why didn't you guys warn me? I kind of did. If you were blind, you'd see the sarcastic look he's giving you right now. <laughs> oh, thanks. I can't find anything in here to help Carl. We've got to figure something out. Stay like this? You look pretty happy as a dog. Porter! Don't worry, as your AIT, I assure you, I'll turn you back to normal. Well, I remember. Porter and Denise are angels in training. The angel textbook. Porter's assigned to me. And how do I know this is all his fault? for your final chapter. That's pretty good. <laughs> I've tried a bunch of ways to catch this book. I've tried fishing for it. I've tried a beautiful female book. Ooh, what? Book could be lonely. <laughs> None of it worked. I think the only way I'm gonna catch this book is if I man up. It should be here by now. Look, what is it? A note. It, it says, "High pomegranate dance, Snow Carl." Carl, it's from Carl. I can't even read this. It looks like it was written by a two-year-old. After years of passing notes back and forth in class, I have become a world expert on Carl's chicken scratches. Give it to me, Porter. I'm stuck alone in a world where I forgot everything. I can now remember who I am, where I am, and that I know my mom and sister, Serge, Brittany, Alex, Denise, and you. That's great. He remembers uh, everything. Uh, everything except me. Yes. Hey. Uh, no, I mean, that's a good thing. I'm still gonna have to disagree with you there. No, what, what I mean is, Carl has remembered almost everything he needs to get back. The last thing he has to remember is you, Jane. So, Jane, do you have anything that'll help Carl remember you? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Hang on. But get it quick. It's almost 5 o'clock. Be right back. You know, it kind of makes sense that Jane is the last thing for Carl to remember. He's been trying to forget her all year. 
Because he can't remember Jane, that's the clog in his memory drain? Yeah, part of him doesn't want to remember how much he still likes her, and that's what's blocking everything else from coming through. Once he remembers her, everything will be able to come rushing back. We took these pictures a few weeks ago. There were a lot of things I could have used to trigger Carl's memory. We've been through a lot, but this reminds me of one of the best times we've had together. I just hope it does the same for him. You might be right, Denise. About what? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, wait! I put slow motion magic on it. That thing tends to move pretty quickly through time and space. Good idea. We better get back to Carl's house in case he shows up. How much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Denise, you take Jane. Now that I've caught the book, I know it's gonna come back fighting mad. So I need to be really prepared for it. Come on, book! Like Jane Casey. No. I'm back. Yeah, there's Alex. Yeah, I remember everything. Or at least I think I do. Oh, I'm supposed to meet Jane in seven minutes. Home sweet home. It's good to be back. There's something still bugging me. A little nagging feeling. One last thing I'm forgetting. Oh, well, if it was important, I'd remember. Yo, Mom, Becky, Porter. Surprise! Happy birthday, Carl! That's what I forgot. It's my birthday today. He was walking down the hall, and he saw me, and he saw my butter sculpture of his head. Relax, Alex. I don't think Carl's gonna figure it out. Figure what out? <laughs> I never said anything about a surprise party for your birthday, Carl. <laughs> I just did! Oh, no, we had it all planned out and everything. Oh, I even made cake plates with your face on them. Oh, and now you've upset Alex. What? Alex! Uh, look, guys, don't worry. I can still act surprised. Watch. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Is this all for me? I am just so surprised. Yeah, it's ruined. Do something, Porter. I'm gonna make you forget a little chunk of your day. Go for it. Okay, look, can we just talk about... <laughs> Sorry, bud. I nah, don't worry about it. I guess everything turned out okay in the end. Happy birthday, Carl. I made this for you. Now you can rub toast on your face, and it won't hurt. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom Claire. Serge will win his next basketball game for you. Sorry, Carl. I forgot to get you a present. I forgot it was my birthday for a while, too. Someone put your face on a plate. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> Happy birthday, Carl. I'm sorry, who are you? What? I'm just kidding. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> are you sure you remember everything? Yeah, I do. Do me a favor. 
I'm all for getting magic. There's some things I always want to remember. <laughs> birthday song to Carl. A one and a two and a... Got braids in my hair, they go down to there, and I'm breathing, breathing, breathing all the air in the air. Today will be great, today we'll be rocking, today's gonna be so totally non-stopping. Today, today, everybody's gonna get down today, and if you can't make it, you'll sure be sorry, cause this party ain't happening tomorrow. Okay, I wouldn't mind forgetting that.